Hey guys, before you do anything else, check out my new shirt design. You can go buy it right now on Teespring. I'll have a link to it in the description below. So in today's training session, I was all about just fast lines, smooth flow, and just trying to make everything explosive. So on this block here, you can see me. I'm doing some swivel vaults on the corner into a Webster move with my palm on the block, as well as finishing it off with a reverse safety cork out of it. And when I pulled that off, felt pretty smooth. The main trick with that was just really ripping my legs around each time so that I could really get power out of each one and get consistent speed. Then I decided to start working on my screwdriver Kongs, and my very first one I did, I popped a side flip out of it, and I accidentally landed on that block that you see me doing a precision to. So then I was like, whoa. That was really cool, but let's see if I can do that on purpose. And so then I kept replicating it and came up with a cool little combo to combine the screwdriver Kong into a side flip precision to little gap jump, palm flip off the wall. Now if you can't tell, this block is a big boy. It's a big block, and I'm doing a Russian front dash out of it, which I was coming out of it super smooth, so I just went straight into a pop front, and I wanted to just work on my momentum going into the wall and then transitioning back out, back towards the block, so you can see me once again doing a corner swivel vault on that high block into a flashed out palm spin, and eventually cart full out. Back at it again with flyaway re-grabs. These are a trick I work on probably every few months. I should work on them more consistently. It takes me a few tries at the beginning of every training session to get them back, but then eventually I get them. The main trick for me is just really ripping my head around as I'm spotting that bar. Most of the time I keep my head tucked because I'm scared of hitting my head on the bar because I've come really close to doing that before. But now that I've gotten the flyaway re-grab consistent and I know I won't hit my head as long as I do it the same way every time then it's just a matter of looking up and spotting that bar and I can pretty much grab it every time I focus on doing that. After landing a few of those I realized I really wanted to do a reverse lache back and then a swing cast out of that but I hadn't done my swing cast forever ever since I landed on my head and injured myself they've been scary for me so I decided I'd start working on those again and I got them back good enough that I was able to start working the whole combo from the flyaway re-grab into the reverse lache into a swing cast took a few tries to get it clean actually it took me a large portion of this training session to get it that I'm not showing you here but by the time I got it it felt good and smooth and it was a pretty proud moment for me so that's all I've got for this training session. Let me know in the comments what you've been training lately. And once again, be sure to go check out my new t-shirt designs. Let me know what you think of them. And also if you have any ideas for any future t-shirts designs, because I'd love to incorporate what you guys are interested in. But that's everything. So thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next time.